Hey guys, Jen Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of... Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. Duh, duh, duh! Talk sound. I don't know if I can skip any of this. Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam, Space Jam. See, I don't know how long you have. You have like three seconds, four seconds is enough to usually trigger it. I don't know. Typically, typically I get hit for weird stuff. Like I was doing, um, what was it? Uh, when I first started, I was doing Twitch as well. And I was playing Borderlands and a couple of the songs on the soundtrack I mean, it's environmental stuff. It's, there might there might be some vocals, I don't know, but uh, the who even knows who even knows who claims this stuff? But they claimed it for those songs specifically, which I thought was kind of weird because, like, you know, so a lot of people will just mute the music in many cases because the music is what gets you, um, and and it's interesting because they usually license it. For the game, like Little Inferno had uh, the catalog theme, and that was like a generic. Um, like I actually went and looked it up. It's it's like mu uh, music that's produced. They're like, hey, use this in your game, use it in your movie or whatever. So they licensed it for that, but then, well, you know, it gets put online, and they're like, no, 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 that's ours. So it's this weird kind of. It's this weird thing. Um, don't know. Barkley, wait. Was I making a point? Just that, just that. This, there's, you know, music is the big one, and they could, they could copyright claim anything, anything they want. Zalatar. There's, there's something I wanted to give you before you left. Wait, what? Whether you want to admit it or not, Barkley, I know you learned something from us while you were here in Cesspool X. It has been a long time since I've spoken to a norm, and I forgot how much we had in common. I mean, it is where we all came from. Everyone here was a norm once. What, do you want to give me a basketball or something? No, Barkley. I want you to know that you taught me to believe again. You've given me the hope to believe that someday your people and my people can coexist, that someday there will be harmony between our two peoples and a bond of understanding and cohesion that will go beyond appearance. I wanted to give you one of my precious turkey feathers to symbolize the mutual strength we have gained from each other. Got one turkey feather. Oh, I thought you wanted to talk about rebounds or something. Barkley, I don't know where you're headed, but don't ever forget us here in Cesspool X. Farewell, friend. What am I supposed to do with this? It symbolizes the potential unity between these animal people and us normal people, Charles. Just throw it away. I don't care. We've got to get moving. Right, let's get going. So do I still have it? I... Zalatar's precious turkey feather. Key item. I bet it will. It's gonna be... Is it gonna be some power of friendship thing? Which power of friendship is like my favorite thing ever. We are going. All right, what's the deal with this? Now, hopefully this means that we can actually go back and, uh, and heal if we need to. Yeah, but apparently now, like, Twitch has its, uh, I wonder where he's from. He looks like he's a fighter from, like, Streets of Rage or something. Uh, let's see. Select a gun attack. 100% dodge on one attack while evading. Gun techniques. Slay a foe. Attacks all foes with bullets. Inflicts diabetes. Brasts. Accurate shot, rapid fire, mega shot. No, but apparently Twitch has updated its 
it's stuff now because of copyright whoever like the motion picture association is going after them now so now they're like well, if you have any any of your vods any of your clips or whatever that have uh copyrighted music in them your channel could get terminated it depends who you are right something i've learned is that rules don't affect everybody equally they should but they don't they don't so you know if you're a twitch girl you'll you'll probably be fine but if you're one of the gamers that made twitch what it is today oh yeah you're out you're out buddy all right so 200 percent base accuracy medium damage hold and release when the aimer lines up with the target rapid fire 75 percent base accuracy low damage replete repeatedly press fire to shoot left and right to switch targets and 50 percent base accuracy high damage hold and release when lines meet to charge shot will miss on overcharge uh, let's try the mega shot. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I clicked it instead of holding it. Because I thought it was going to be like Barkley where he gets ready first. The answer is no, by the way. He did not. Oh, I thought I was... Damn it. I didn't realize who I was. I thought I was, I thought I was Barkley there. That's no good. Ah, well. Alright, dwarf. Punch him into oblivion. That works. And, uh... We're gonna try the mega shot again. Shot will miss on overcharge. And it seems like it accelerates as well, so... Board. All right, then there's rapid fire. Oh, that's it? You just get five shots? That's not bad. That's still about... It's still about 100 total compared to the mega shot. And then, uh... Lots of ball spiders. Let's just try the regular shot, I suppose. Eh. Rapid fire might actually be better. Try accurate shot again. Mm. Glaucoma. Well, that's no good. Uh, but we'll have to. Probably see if we can fix that afterwards, unless. Maybe just evade? Maybe the accurate shot still works pretty well. Yeah. Hmm. That works. The dwarf is good. Uh, let's try a rapid shot. Less damage, though, with Glaucoma.
What is, uh... Oh, that's not the right... Hit percent halved. I mean, that's not... Strange. It's not a huge deal for him, though, at the moment. And we go down, I suppose. Okay. Rufus, I've heard you've been complaining about some security situation at the gate. I understand your grievances. As such, I've ordered another shipment of weaponry from Square Annex Goya. It should be in by the weekend. They're quality arms this time. Meaning, although those rats can be a bit of a nuisance, there should be no longer... There should no longer be problems unattributable to human error. Meaning, screw up again, and you'll wake up swirling around at the bottom of a sewer grate, and there'll only be a hundred little urchins ready to snap up what was your position. Don't compromise what little faith I still have in you, Allard. This Allard guy sounds like a real son of a bitch. Allard. Got a chicken do. Yeah. Chicken do. I love that. All right. So does that go? Yep. Yeah. Ran out of, ran out of Nike power or juice or whatever. Does this go to another little treasure area? Uh, is this where we want to go? Suit. Get lost. It won't open. Dave, see that door over there? The one that won't open? What about it? I heard there's a trick to opening it. Something about a key in Kukulain's tomb. Does that mean anything to you? No. Yeah, me neither. Just wondering. Okay. Well... Nope, switch does nothing. Okay, so we do have to go this way. Well, in that case, let's go clear out the rest of the area. Because... I don't mind fighting. It's, it's good to get some levels if we can. All right, you... Uh... That's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Right on. <coughs> and... Let's see if we can kill a whistle. Cyber Dwarf is pretty tough. Right on. So he himself is capable of uh, a lot. Uh oh. Stroke. Stroke seems bad. Barkley cannot move. And what is that music from? think. Oh. Uh. Stroke lie dormant for three turns. That's bad. That is bad. That's bad, dude. Ah, I see. They're kind of showing you. Right, they're running you around. Oh, hello. Treasure. Is this where I started? It is. Okay, cool. That, uh, if you've ever played Path of Exile, there's the... The chick, Alva. She's one of the masters now, but... She didn't used to be, but I love how she's like... Treasure. All right, we have a lot of people, a lot of like ball droids and other stuff. Can I attack all foes with bullets? Sounds good. All right. 
Um, launches Zobs equal to enemies, then gusts foes away. Let's do, we'll do this. Maybe that'll work. And then we could do some free throws if they were to land. And Aye, too much. Thankfully, that missed. All right. I'll take it. Nice. Man, you can't win them all. Cannot win them all. Okay, let's redeem ourselves. That's eh, still still good. The whistle is pretty dangerous, though. I guess I just have to hit the buttons fast. It's it's hard. I don't know why. Maybe it's my my keyboard is like clicky. If that makes any sense. Okay, let us do... And rapid fire... Yeah, left and right to switch targets. Okay, well, we'll try that. We got three of them. That's a start. Well, that sucked. Good. And then, uh, rapid fire. That wasn't bad. Those things are dangerous. But they're weak. A face mask. I assume it's some kind of equipment. Clear plastic shield, just like Rip used to wear. Who's Rip? I mean, it's probably not Rip from Rock and Roll Racing, right? This is a different place. Sewer Punk. Headed down to Proto Neo, New York. You might want to stock up first. Some people don't. Come back with some real horror stories. Anyway, here it is. Ah, well. Hector Cooler, B Ball Shard, Steroids. Uh, yeah, we should actually probably buy. I'll be here for a few days. After that, I've got to go back up and restock. In the meantime, swing by if there's anything you need. So is this the right way? I felt like the way with the pump was the right way, but who knows. Lithely stalking through the shadows, his midnight obsidian skin shining beneath the moonlight. The dry ranger crept up behind the knoll and disemboweled him with his dual-edged scimitar. Are you talking to me, kid? Can't you see I'm writing a Driss Stewart in fanfiction, or as the fanfic community elites say, Ficky? Do they actually say that? And besides, his scimitars aren't double-edged. He has two of them. I'm waiting down here for my turn to be operated on by Dr. Allard. I managed to save up enough money to have my skin dyed completely black. God, Allard is the one that uh, turns people into animals. 
uh, much like that of the nefarious subterranean race of elves called Drow. By the way, Drow apparently is now racist. That's... Orcs and Drow are now racist, which is ridiculous because... It's, it's always amusing that the people that are like, these things are racist, like if you look at them, they're the ones that are actually racist, the people. Because it's, it's like the ones that are like, oh, castle laws are bad because they kill black people. It's like castle laws is where you can shoot people that come into your house or break in. Like you have a right to be safe in your own home. Um, and it's like, how racist are you that you think only black people are criminals? Same thing with the orcs and and the and the drow, right? They they see that and they're like, that's racist. Why? Because black people act like that. It's like, what? What are you talking about? Like that's how. They're so racist that they see something and they're like, that's how black people are. It's like, no, besides, they're not even human. Uh, let's see. My aim is to have enough money to look completely like, like Dritz by the end of the year, although I'll have to scrimp and save more than I'd like. I should probably leave. If you want, I can read you some of my poetry about Dritz. This is one I like to call Ranger of Kindness. D. Deflects incoming attacks with a swipe. R. Read about him in a book. I. Interesting slash dapper fighting style. Z. Zazzy pivots and dodges. Z. Zero tolerance for bugbears. T. Twin scimitars cut swaths through the night. D. Dangerous lava caves. O. Ovations he receives for his heroic deeds. U. Utilizes somersaults to block attacks. I. Shouldn't it be evade? But whatever. R. Ricochet with a bow or arrow. D. Destruct all goblins, but not for racism. C. C. That's what. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Or you know, this is this thing's evil, and the people see that and they're like, "That's black people." It's like, black people aren't evil. You racist fuck. What are you talking about? There are, there are bad people that happen to be black, just like there's bad people that happen to be white. It's like... E, enigma of few words. And it never stops helping friends and peasants. What did you think? I enjoyed your subtle use of iambic pentam... Jesus, Baltheos. Okay, let's... Get out of my face, Nat. Hey there, you headed down? Not interested in hookers... Hook <laughs> Hookers, lady. Try someone else. Easy, easy. Just making a little conversation. I'm about to go down myself. It's dangerous down there, but it's worth the risk depending on how much you can pull up. Proto-Neo New York artifacts can go for a lot. Collector types with Neo shekels to burn. This toll kills me, though. I'm paying 5000 a trip to Allard, so all I have... Also, I have enough to pay him again for surgery. What kind of surgery would that be, if you don't mind me asking? Something for my first business. I see. Like, the hooking thing? I'm not really into it, but clients will pay a lot a lot for non-standard parts. Allard control over the sewers can be a real pain in the ass, but he's made my business a lot more profitable. Guess I can't fault him too much. He's a great surgeon. Non-standard parts. She's not talking about... Like, mechanical parts. She's talking about, like... I don't know what she's talking about. Human parts, let's say. Maybe she has a mouth down there, who knows. Is this where we're supposed to go? Presumably. Man, I know I've seen your face somewhere before. I uh, don't know about that. That's it, Charles Barkley. Man, the doctor did a great job in your operation. Most guys who get the Charles Barkley operation come out looking, looking like Patrick Ewing or something. That looks fantastic. Wait, what? Charles Barkley operation? Man, you're already in character. You're a real inspiration, you know that? Me. Me? I'm here for the Wilt Chamberlain operation. It's always been a dream of mine to dribble a b-ball in the 
in the visage of one of the game's greatest. I mean, just about just everything about the guy was amazing. His dunks, his rebounds, his shots, his passes. I could pretty much go on forever about him. I'm so nervous my dreams are about to come true. People get surgery to look like Charles Barkley. Yeah, you're not the first. He's got a whole fan base of guys who've gotten the surgery. Yours is the best I've ever seen, though. It looks so real. Jesus Christ, I've uh, I've got to go. Okay, later, man. Keep it real. I can't get over good of how good a job Dr. Allard did on you. I hope he does that well on me. Is this Dr. Allard? Suit, never seen you before. Dr. Allard charges 5000 for a trip down this ladder. There ain't anybody that comes here who doesn't want to get past me. And there ain't nobody that does get past me without a lighter wallet. It's a decent situation we have going here. It's gone without a hitch for a while now. So, 5000 gets you a round trip. Down the ladder once, up the ladder once. How's that sound? What? 5000 is an outrageous price. There's got to be another way down there. Not a chance. Pay up or shut up? Don't pay. 5000 you must be out of your mind, punk. That's the price. 5000 you're not getting through. Dr. Allard's rules. He's just standing in the way. Yeah. Well, yeah, we don't have 5000 so presumably... Presumably it is... I mean, it's possible that you could get the, the money and, and go down that way, and it might actually save you a trip. But it looks like that's the way to go. Uh, was it through here? Yes. All right. Um, who is this? Claude. Hey man, could you spend me 10 Neo shekels? I'm trying to save up for my surgery. Yeah, okay. All right, here you go. Thanks, man. I've been saving up, but I wasn't getting anywhere. Pretty soon that tail is going to be mine. All right. Insufficient science points. That's fine. Uh, B-ball juice. This is like a full heal. Oh, wait. Do we have any... All revive... So this is like a megalix megalixer? Or is a Megalixir... I don't remember. Is Megalixir full party? I can't recall. We'll get one. And then, uh... Bump these up to five each. Did I lose tobacco? I don't know. Now we'll get some b-ball juice. Just in case. Here we go. Among the most prominent Japanese composers, although I use the word Japanese superfluously, I think I pronounced that right. As even the most well-known American composers are barely competent at best, one in particular stands out to the enlightened VidCon soundtrack consumer. His name, Yasunori Mitsuda. For the record, this is not to under undermine the amazing works of other incredibly talented VidCon composers such as Uematsu-san or Sakuraba-san. Uematsu does Final Fantasy. Mitsuda does... I don't know, presumably these are JRPGs, like, uh, Dragon Quest is probably one of them, and Sakuraba... Don't know. Uh, but to highlight this unique, almost keltotropic music, the word music is an understatement, that Yasunori Mitsuda has been composing for years, it would be sheer ignorance to deny that the Chrono Cross soundtrack, okay, Chrono Cross, is anything but the magnum opus of VidCon music. Uh, Chrono Cross was... It was okay. The music was good. Although I can only hear Radical Dreamers, like, so many times. That's kinda... Was that the one? I think that was the one. It's lilting and oftentimes hauntingly peaceful guitar melodies soothe all but the most savage of, of breasts. While its tense battle themes and mysterious 
donjon tunes ignite a blazing passion that can be quenched only by the VidCon's profound story and gameplay. It is a wonder that anyone can listen to anything besides VidCon musical compositions after listening to Mitsuda-san's immensely powerful soundtrack. But given that the primitive thuds of hip-hop are America's current choice of music, I use the term music liberally, one can see a little hope in the mass appreciation of Mitsuda-san's work. Okay, let's save over number two. Right on. Uh, should we continue? I say yes. Dr. Allard's clinic. Interesting. So we might actually need to get the 5,000 to go down there. Strange. Is that an eight? Eight eye? You see this? Whatever. Anyway, you see this hair a few months ago was a dirty blonde bowl cut. Three treatments and 9,000 neo shekels later. And look at me, the splitting image of Klost. This text blends together. Mitsugiri? The hell are you talking about? Klost Mitsugiri, aka He Who Walks With Death, pilot of the Devil Blade Mark II Mecha. Gundam? He's the protagonist of. Hyperborea 12, Hyperborea No Legends. Still my favorite installment of the greatest VidCon series in existence. Frankly, I'm a bit shocked you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, I played that. I remember that part, right? It's at the the when you're fighting that, uh... Oops, we gotta go. Dad, I'm just... We're going. Now. And he's running away. Charles, he was just talking. Look at him. Look at his hair. I'd rather Hoops talk to those animal people back at Cesspool X. Yeah, they've got problems. This guy's just a damn freak. No way in hell my son's gonna turn out like that. <laughs> Fair enough. Just one more surgery, surgery left and my hair will be perfect. Dr. Allard's giving me surgery to help it grow in the way Klost's does naturally. The steep incline upwards, the slight curvature to the right, the deep emerald hue. I've almost got it, but not quite. Just one more surgery. You know, it's almost ironic. I'm undergoing treatment to make my hair look like a VidCon hero, and I finance my surgery by auctioning off, auctioning off a good portion of my vintage game collection. In fact, one could posit that for the most part, my path, the path my life takes is determined by VidCons and by VidCons alone. It's a difficult path, but one I shall always walk. This guy's la, uh, yeah, half and half. I see you staring. Don't worry, I actually get it quite often. You're wondering what I am, correct? I'm a Geldrock, a species of my own creation. Some restrict their appearances to imagery found in the natural world, animals and the like. I am for true expression. My current form is a testament to the awesome powers of the imagination and of the good doctor here. Dr. Allard is expensive, but extraordinarily talented. He had the ability to transform me into exactly what I desired, not just some mundane barnyard beast. He actually must be pretty talented. Needless to say, I took advantage of this. Ezekiel, Geldrock of the Far Plains. Greetings, strangers. I see your friend there has taken my route. Skin of tanned leather, gleaming steel plating. Nothing of such extravagance is to be found in nature. I applaud his daring. Only with enough of us can we can we free the world of cosmetic surgery from the cruel yoke of the animalities. Animalites. Only then can we purge it from the tyranny of the realists. I kind of want to play that game. Multiple factions, depending on how much plastic surgery you've had. Whether you've turned yourself into a real-life furry or you're something else versus whether you're totally human or not. I mean, I feel like that's been done before, though. Steve, you gotten in yet? I'm not here for surgery, son. Sure, so what kind of surgery are you not here for? Oh, fuck this. We're all the same here, pal. Don't worry so much. Rigby, ah, uh, What's up? What's wrong with you? My, my fucking eye, can't you see? I work in the sewers. I'm a plumber. So this bolt shoots off a pipe and hits me in the eye, and when I fucking get here, they make me wait. I'm gonna go fucking blind, and this doctor has me waiting so he can see all these freaks who want to be turned into goddamn animals. Goddamn animal people get in when I'm when I'm bleeding out of my fucking eye. Motherfucking bullshit. He, he can't do this. It's my eye, for fuck's sake. Somebody should teach this bastard a lesson. Fucking animal freaks get in because they walk in with pocket stuff with neo-shekels. I'm the one with the emergency, and I get the shaft. Fuck this place. Yeah. You're basically correct. Allard's in with the patient busy. I suggest you wait like everyone else. I was trying to talk to the Princess Leia thingamabob. Allard's in with the patient. Yeah, okay. What about you? Gretel, please just leave me alone. Oh, sorry, lady. 
I don't mean to be rude, there's just a lot on my plate right now. I shouldn't bother her. Hospital hospitals can be rough on people. I know. You look pretty much done. Excuse me? You mean the surgery, correct? Well, this is actually a bit embarrassing. I'm actually not done yet. I mean, I've just got, I've gotten my face pretty much finished, but under this cloak, I'm just as human as everyone else, anyone here. I saw what that reindeer over there looked like half done. Figured it would be best to cover up. It's quite jarring, I think. Can't say any of you animal people look any different. The reindeer is a real mess, though. Anyway, just a few more treatments for me. It's cost me a fortune, but it'd be worth it to live in peace among kindred spirits. There's a city down there, you know. Cesspool X, it's called. I've heard wonderful, wonderful things. Here I come, Cesspool X. Here I come. Uh, Darren. And it looks like a female wolf. Let's talk about the reindeer. Jansen, quit looking at my nose, asshole. It's not my damn fault. Looks pretty messed up, chump. Fuck off, okay? Allard, me pro Allard promised me 30 grand for a full conversion. Now at the last minute, he's holding out, asking for 35. Greedy son of a bitch. I was two, just two antlers and a nose away from me being the reindeer I've always wanted. The only thing I've ever wanted. I just can't afford another 5,000. I was so close, too. Do you have any concept to what it's like to have your life's sole dream snatched away from you? A little. Well, that's what Allard does to me. He does it to all of us, and there's nothing anybody can do. He's the only one willing or skilled enough to do a full conversion, and he knows it. I just can't, I can't take this much longer, man. Fuck Allard, fuck these sewers, fuck this city, fuck the whole post-cyber-pocalypse. Okay. I like your orange friend over there. The doctor could do some real good work on him. I'm guessing you're not here for surgery, though. All the same, you're gonna have to wait. Plenty of paying customers have been here for much longer than you have. Go have a seat. Do we actually have to have a seat, or can we just go in? Uh, let us... Do we, do we sit somewhere? What do we do? I assume we're just supposed to muscle our way in. But... Uh, let's see... Trash cans... I mean, unless we're actually supposed to get the 5,000, that would be silly. Suit, what the hell do you think you're doing? Dr. Allard takes one patient at a time. Don't try that again. Hmm. Do we actually have to pay the 5,000? We might. Seems like we're at an impasse. It doesn't seem like we're gonna going anywhere until we pay the toll at the gate, large as it may be. It's 5,000 Neo Shekels, Baltios. There's no way in hell I'd pay these things a damn thing. Definitely wouldn't pay him 5,000. It's extortion, and I'm not gonna tolerate that shit. I say we go rough up that punk at the gate. And hell, we should probably go teach this Dr. Allard and all of his goons a lesson while we're at it. Charles, you can't just go around beating on anyone and everyone you want. What they're doing isn't right, but you're damn right it is. People come down to these sewers to escape from shit on the surface, Baltios. Once they make it down here, they've got to deal with this Allard and his thugs. Forget it. I'm not going to put up with it. So, you're finally showing some sympathy for the sewer dwellers. I mean, I'm not going to put up with it when it affects me and my son. It's hard enough to make ends meet in the post cyber apocalypse. No money could be put to use, not wasted on some bullshit toll. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, let's just give him the money. It's fine. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. We can always spend less money. Oops, I've taught you that people sometimes need to stand up for what's right, haven't I? Well, this is one of those times. Cyber Dwarf, what's wrong? Hmm? Nothing, nothing at all. We just need to get a move on. The Spalding Factory is our goal. Whatever you decide to do about this, do it quickly. We don't have the time to squander on these petty conflicts. Blood Moses must be stopped. You heard it, Charles. You decide what we're going to do. Either we pay the toll or pay a visit to whoever you like. Dr. Allard or the Gate Guard. You also might want to find out who that Rufus is in the note is. All we know is a name, but perhaps looking into it could give us something we could use. In any case, choose quickly, please. So Rufus might be a thing. Uh, let's see. 40 minutes. Well, let's... Uh, okay. Aye. Alright. Okay, what about... That's Rigby. I don't know anything about Rufus. Uh, 
Uh, what else? Gotta wonder who locked it in the first place. Dr. Eiler, maybe, but I bet you this door is older than him. Probably none of the cesspool X folks. They've only been around for a few years. Maybe it was Kukulain. I don't even know who he is. It's a real mystery, you know? I guess. Alright, well... You Rufus? Why you wanna know? I saw a note someone left for you. I... wait, you? You don't even know if I'm Rufus or if it's someone else. So you got demoted, huh? Expected much from a sucker like you. What, you wanna fucking go? I'm always up for a game. But what I wanna know... he means, like, go, like, fight, not... Yeah, anyway. What I want to know right now is how to get to see this Allard. I get the idea you don't like him too much either. What are you planning on doing? Maybe teaching him a lesson. Shit. You're making my fucking day, you know that? That asshole sent me down here for one tiny mistake I made at the gate. Dock my pay, too. Not that it was much to begin with. So you say you're going to go in there and mess him up? That's the plan. Alright, tell the guards at the gate that when... That when we get the final hardware, the performance is just going to skyrocket. What's that supposed to mean? I think it's something Allard said once. It's code you can use to get through. Tell the guards I sent you in that when we get the final hardware, the performance is just going to skyrocket, and they'll let you through. They know it came from me. Alright, thanks for the help. I should be thanking you. Dr. Allard's a real motherfucker. He deserves anything you give him. In that case, we might need to heal up, but it might be fine. Yeah, let's... Let's do it that way. If we get killed, we'll, uh, you know, it'll be okay. Of course, I'm gonna... It's interesting that it gives you choices. And also, like, Hoops. Hoops says no. I assume the Cyber Dwarf was fixed by Allard. When we get the final hardware, the performance is just going to skyrocket. Rufus sent me. Okay, okay, not out loud. I don't want to have to learn another code. Go ahead. Hmm? And who exactly are they? Bodyguard. They just came in and didn't say. So Allard must be like the little girl looking thing. It's probably an old man. You there, I don't believe you have an appointment scheduled. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you all to leave. If you all could leave. Can't do that, Doc. And why not? You run the gate. We need to go through it. There's a procedure for that, you know. Head to the gate. I'm sure the men there will explain it for you. I ain't paying your goddamn toll, Allard. Oh, really? Well, we'll have to talk about that. First of all, though, you know my name, but I don't know any of yours. It's none of your fucking business. Just open the gate before your ass gets slammed and jammed. Oh, wait, I remember you from all those news reports. Barkley. Charles Barkley, is it? Just let us through the gate. Charles Barkley. That's right. You're a wanted man, you know. Sirens have been blaring on the surface all day. We hear the echoes down here. I assume they're looking for you. Fifteen million. That's quite a bit of damage you did to Manhattan, Barkley. That wasn't me, you son of a bitch. Right. Whenever somebody comes to the sewers, it wasn't them. Regardless, you aren't in the best situation now, are you? The police and the b-ball removal department looking for you. Topside, and here you are in my office acting like you have some kind of upper hand. Pitiful. You and your friends there are at my mercy, and you come at me with threats. Do you have any idea who I am? I run these sewers. All these rats bow to me. They need me. I'll give you the chance to turn around now. Barkley, perhaps we shouldn't... Shouldn't? He's a fucking tyrant, and he needs to be stopped. A tyrant? Ha ha ha. I'm a blessing to these rats. Here's a story for you. I wasn't always a doctor. I worked for a software company. We did computers, vidcons, and things. I was grotesque. A pasty, balding wreck. My physical form was flabby and weak, so I decided to change it. Clispeth put me a disgusting sack of flesh, and so I went to work on it. I studied genetic engineering, plastic surgery, even fashion. I was bald, so I gave myself hair. I cut away my fat and grew muscle in it instead. God gave me a body. I refused it and made another of my liking. I destroyed God's plan for me and made another of my own. And to these people in the sewers, I took his place. They come to me, sad souls imprisoned in pathetic husks. I'm the one who sets them free. This time, I am their creator. I give them life, and so I claim these sewers as my dominion. And here you make demands of me. In these sewers, I am a god, and I am loved for it. You there. Me? Your skin, leathery, patterned, doesn't look synthetic from here. Basketballs, I'm assuming? Yes, it is made of basketballs. 
It's patients like you who I can fix. People like you come to me in shackles and I liberate them, and all I ask from them is obedience and, of course, a modest fee. I'm a doctor, after all. You're a goddamn lunatic. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? I give you a chance. Leonard, take care of them. Right away, sir. Oh. He's a weird one. Uh, well, let us... I assume we're gonna have to fight Allard after this. So let's just try a... Rapid fire. Okay, so... Ooh, guard minus 10. So... Brain is high, I think. That was good. Right on. <coughs> oh, level six. Did we get any dwarf caress? Ooh. <laughs> Trick on assault and assault is spelled wrong. There's some there's some errors. God damn it. Don't you think you've don't think you've beaten me, you fucking rats. Interesting. Okay, well, see this is where we need I wonder if we can go back and uh, sleep at the inn after this. Can we just slay a foe? Like, straight up? I doubt it, but we'll try it. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Um, we'll do water. Diabetes. Heart stab, Jesus. And we'll get some, we'll regain some of this. Hmm. Dwarf caress. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, 50% and raise a random stat. Yeah, we'll want to do that on him. Brain up. Uh, status shot inflicts diabetes, which they already have. Tricky attack that deals heavy damage to one foe. I mean, we're already basically... Hmm. He's got a lot of hit points. We'll do muscle. That will help. Yep. Uh, what about... Mega Shot is probably the best. Uh, we're gonna do the Holy Dunk, though. I love that. It's just so great. And... We could do thunder or we could do wind. Let's do thunder, it's one enemy versus the wind, which seems to be all. And then. And my dwarf. There you go. 2,600 experience. Ugh, fuck. We probably should have killed him. Charles, your son's right here. I've said it before, I am not a role model. St <laughs> Still, it was probably the right thing to do. The guy's sick, and look who's talking. You're the ultimate hellbane. You're certainly not afraid of killing anyone. My hands are not clean, but everything I've done has been for the people of New New York. Allard was a cruel dictator, but he's nothing like Blood Moses. Besides, he's called off his guards and promised to lower his prices for his surgeries. 
surgery that helped the people down here, regardless of what you think of them. He's a real slimy son of a bitch, though. He'll probably change his mind the moment we head down to Proto Neo, New York. I just think everyone would be better off without him. But let's just hurry up and go. We've probably spent too much time here already. Okay, where is this? Right, that is that. Okay, I'm gonna run back if we can. And see if we can get to um, back to Cesspool X. Hit up the inn. This one, right? There we go. Nice. And yeah, 402 to the next level, which is good. Oh, uh, a little bit weird right there. Still, I mean, I don't know. If people want to have surgeries and stuff, that's their that's their prerogative. You know what I mean? They could do that. The problem is a lot of people, I mean, here in, in real life, uh, oh, let's, uh, we'll go through here, we'll save at the, at the thing, and then we'll stop. Is this the right place? Yeah. There are people, like, in real life that turn themselves into animals through surgery, and The, the problem is a lot of the time they're trying to fix something emotionally or mentally by having surgery and that does not fix it. And so a lot of them end up, you know, rope neck or acute lead poisoning. Um, yeah, we'll save over number three. Level six, yeah baby. All right, well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Um, this upcoming week's going to be rough for me, which is why I'm recording as many of these as I can today. Uh, just just lots of call, not very much time off. It's, it's going to be a nightmare, hopefully not. Hopefully not, but, you know, could be. Um, yeah. So what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's just the fact that um, brought my cats to the vet this morning. They uh, just a uh, you know an annual checkup, some shots, and uh, you know they're not they're not happy, but they're doing fine. So that's uh, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys' is just as good, if not better. Hopefully, better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.